guys, I'm Master Ed here. Today is Sunday, May 12th, 2013. Just got back from the South Florida Fairgrounds gun show. Uh, I went yesterday and today. Today I only went for like 30 minutes max. Yesterday I went for an hour and a half. Um, not really feeling all that great. I think I might have caught a fucking cold or flu or something. I feel like shit. But then again, I always feel like shit. So, whatever. But, um, I got some goodies. Uh, <coughs> so, I was doing a little searching, and there was, there was some good, decent prices on guns, and, you know, some were overly priced, but, uh, let me just get this out real quick. I bought some Aguila 30 Special, which was the first thing I knew exactly who sells this stuff, so I went directly to him. And, uh, $18 a box. I only got one box. Because I got shit for 38 special in my inventory. And then uh, I went to this guy who was just starting the pack up. He's, he want, I guess he wants to beat the, the rush hour traffic or something. I don't know. But, uh, he was like, uh, you want something? You you know, I'm, I'm packing up. I'm going. You know, fucking hurry up. Bought this box of blazer. Um... It's a little banged up, so I opened it up. There's some rounds missing, but nine bucks. And to the left of him, this guy was selling movies, Blu-rays, you know, that sort of shit. So I bought the movie Ted, unrated. Um, Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, ultraviolet. Uh, that's mainly why I bought it, is because it's the unrated version. I'm going to go buy... Uh, I'm going to go... I just got a migraine. Fuck. I'm gonna go redeem the ultraviolet code on my PlayStation in a minute. And then next to that guy was uh, P Mags. There's only like two left. Twelve bucks. Not bad. I mean, I already have a bunch of P Mags. I don't need any more, but twelve bucks. It's the best I've seen these in a very long while. And he also had an AK mag. Uh, I think it's Romanian. I don't really care. All I care is that it didn't have the ribs, the the spine on it. He had a couple of them. Fourteen bucks. As for guns, um, there's a few things I wanted. Uh, so I I started feeling how I am right now. My head starting hurt, starting to feel like shit. So rather than uh, haggling, um. Which I only haggled with one guy. I mainly got a bunch of phone numbers. Wrote down phone numbers, put them in my phone, and um, I'll call them up later when it like during the weekday when I, when I feel better, or I'll email them. Some of them had cards, but um, there's this one guy there who had nothing much, but he did have three boxes of 45 long colt. Now this is this is what I'm getting to. He had a Ruger Volcaro 45 long Colt, and he had the card filled out and everything. He purchased it in 2003, and he's selling it for $500. And then he has a custom holster for it, a custom cowboy holster for it. That he's trying to get for 450. It's also 10 years old. I tried to haggle him down to $300. Uh, he's like, no, I want 500 For a 10-year-old Ruger Vaquero 45 long call. $300 is a decent price. It's 10 years old. He's like, no, I want $500. Well, instead of arguing with him or continuing on, because really I don't want to get the guy pissed off. So he gave me his number, and uh, I'm going to try to haggle with him a little more. Because, uh, you know, it wasn't in that bad condition. Uh... But still, a ten-year-old cowboy revolver, you know, that's, that's, you know, made every day, brand new. You can buy one brand new from Shoot Straight for 600 bucks, And it, that one would be in 357 or 45 or 44 or whatever. But this was a 45 long Colt Ruger Volcaro. And, um, no, $500 for a ten-year-old that had purchased and, you, and been in use since 2003? No, that's ten years. Hell no, I'm not paying $500 for a 10-year-old gun. 
But anyway, I think I can get him down to 300. And if he, so, then I'm gonna uh, fill out the 4473 form and get the Ruger Volcaro. If not, oh well. I have a few more phone numbers uh, on a few more different guns. Um, I don't really. I'm trying to remember something. I, I know I'm forgetting something right now. But my head is hurting, so I am stuttering. I know I'm forgetting something. What else did I do? I walked around, saw some ammo, saw some guns. Um, there was a few good deals, but mm, ninety bucks for a twenty-two long rifle uh, Ranger. And but I've never seen this type of uh, twenty-two long rifle before. It was uh, it, it, all it said on it was uh, uh, Ranger twenty-two long rifle, but it was not a bolt action, which I've never seen uh, this type before. He was kind of busy, so I didn't really get to, you know, ha handle it. But uh, it looked like it took a magazine, an internal magazine, and that you pull the the you pull the charging handle back like a spring catches it. I don't know, but it it was not a bolt action. I don't. Know. I don't uh, uh, what else? Fuck! I know I'm forgetting something. What? Am I? Uh, well, that's it. Uh, my head's starting to hurt. Just want to let you guys know I went to the South Florida Fairgrounds gun show. And, um, all I got was, uh, some blazer and one box 30 special movie and AK mag. Used AK mag. Which is fine, I don't give a shit. Uh, and a brand new P mag. So, uh, Fuck, I know I'm forgetting something. Anyway, peace out. I did forget something. Uh, alright. Two things. Delta 0125 and Glockmeister 50 GI. First I'm going to start with Glocky. Or uh, Black Devil Firearms. Or Black Wolf Custom, whatever. Whatever the fuck he wants to call himself. He's been banned. Uh, I talked to a few people there, and I can't believe I forgot this. He's been banned. He's not allowed to have a table. He's not allowed to have a booth. He's been banned. And, uh, Delta 0125, I saw, uh, AMI Tavor IDF version. Same exact one you got. 2600 bucks. Brand new. Not fucked with. Brand freaking new. So, yeah. Black Devil's been banned from the gun show. That's South Florida Fairgrounds. And, uh, Delta overpaid for his Tavor. And now I'm going to watch the movie Ted. Later.